sweet at our favorite Goodwill down the street from our house, of course, down here in Murrow's Inlet, South Carolina. We haven't been to the Goodwill in three whole entire weeks because yard sales have been so good, but cloudy, rainy today on a Friday, so no yard sales. So Kayla and I, who already ran in there because she's so excited to be here today, we're gonna go in there, see what we can find to flip online for a profit. Brand new Minion. Mm -hmm. But it's super, super dirty. What is this thing? Are you old? 14 years and up. Mm. Got the pass on this. Did you find anything good? No? Hey, check these old Scotland head covers out. These are the epitome of awesome. You got the little pom poms on them? Man, have you ever seen anything made in Scotland? Looks like we're only walking away with the Scotland head covers, which is a pretty good, nice little pickup. They got three's good too. They're in really good condition too. I saw Kayla over here finding something. These canes are usually a pickup. These are in like, I mean, not so good condition. Have you ever seen this design? It says cane on it. Definitely pick these up. They're usually 40 bucks easy. Um, I'll ask Kayla what she thinks about cleaning these, but I think she's probably gonna say it's a no-go. But actually, they're not in that bad condition. I don't know, I'll have to ask her. But these canes right here, always a pickup. All right, now this isn't too bad. Little. Radio Shack radios usually actually go for pretty good money. Thing is, they want eight bucks for this. Some sold out size, fifty bucks free shipping. The thing is, is that this thing is not in the best condition, but it's not bad. But um, we're probably gonna leave it behind, so it's only gonna be about fifteen dollars in profit. But these things, uh, they come with a plug, but also they take about forty-two thousand dollars in batteries. They take four D batteries. So it weighs a lot. Always be on the lookout, always run the comps on Radio Shack stuff, because sometimes it's worth a ton of money. We do not believe that this is Karen and Larry. We think that they are imposters because they have no babies. Very sad. We miss them. We looked in the ditch. We looked everywhere for Karen and Larry's babies. And we just can't find them nowhere. That's Susan and Johnny. They don't have kids. So uh, where's Karen at? Have you seen them? No? All right. Man, Mizuno Stiff Flex. All right, now these we usually do not find in here. These are Mizuno's, and Mizuno's a good name brand. You usually don't hear me talk about those because I never find them, but Mizuno uh, Golf Clubs always usually a big up. Look at this Bissell. Oh, is it connected to that? I don't know. No good. So I just picked up these Coach Boots. They look in really good condition. Like they're not even worn, but they are literally brand new. And I looked up the number inside. MSRP was $250. All right, I always stop by the VHSs just because y'all didn't know the 2007 Cars, Disney Cars VHS open, doesn't really matter. It's worth like a thousand bucks. And so uh, it's one of my bucket list things to find, obviously. So remember, 2007 Cars Disney VHS worth a ton of money. What did you find? Is that leather pants? <laughs> They're for my dad, the leather pants. Yeah. <laughs> what are these? These are coach boots. Really? Brand new, they go for 250. Wow, coach. And they look like in yeah. really good condition. I looked at the number, they're legit. They're legit, too legit. Look at that, coach boots. Nice, what else you find? Um, Should, what's this little dress down here? Oh, that's for me. Is that for you? You want to try it on? No. Nah. What are these? These are buckle pants. <laughs> so like a knockoff brand of buckle? You would think. You would think. The brand right there, buckle? These are leather pants. Dad always wants leather pants, so what are they? 36? They're his size. You're lying. Nope. <laughs> Only one pair sold new for 140 though? I mean, come on. They got one little spot on the back. Oh, do they? It's not bad though, it's right there, see it? Oh yeah. But, I mean, pants here are like seven bucks, something probably easy $50. Yeah. So you, you found some good stuff, coach. Dress for yourself and, and some leather pants for dad. Yeah. Whoa, shoes coming at me, be careful. Look at these bad boys we just picked up. They just got a little bit of dirt on them. I'm gonna clean these things up, Doc Martens. These are, uh, I think they're called Luna, but these are pretty good. They're youth, but they'll still sell. Anytime you ever see this little yellow tag sticking up, 
somewhere it's like very recognizable run to it and then see exactly what they are some of them like the walmart brand now has this little tag i think but a lot of times it's gonna be a pair of good doc martens that are worth a ton of money let's see what kayla picked up what did you get so this is sleeping on snow hmm. and it's from anthropology i've sold you remember the um coffee mugs yeah that's all in anthropology sorry this is nordstrom You've nordstrom Made, Made in, in Italy. Italy. Ooh, is that fur? Yes. What type of fur is it? That's alpaca. No. No. Rabbit. Bear. Bear I'm fur? Just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Squirrel fur. It's definitely a weird looking squirrel. The Jurassic Park. We're actually going on vacation. You can set this up outside on the little deck and you can paint, paint. the little dinosaur. <laughs> How funny would that Wouldn't be? Wouldn't that be fun? That would be fun. We're going on vacation here in like, I don't know, three days and we're looking for things to do. This could be the perfect thing to do right here. Plastic easel included. I'm gonna sit out there on the porch and, uh, and paint my dinosaur next to the stream. We'll have those videos up on the other channel, but this is definitely gonna happen. <laughs> it's like a whole bunch of pens and pencils, permanent markers. Is it all new? What is the thing underneath? Flip it over. Flower frame canvas. I don't know. Mm. It's just frames. Some of those can be worth it. What's in this one? Be like, oh, there's some dominoes. Another eight bucks for crafting stuff. They're getting chinchy though, they're not filling it up all the way. We see what you're doing, Goodwill. Gotta put it back for that price. Hmm, these are all used. The old Judy clock though. It's pretty neat. I want two bucks for it. That's basically what it's worth. But, I mean. Tells time. This is the original clock. How to tell time. At our third thrift store of the day, we're actually doing pretty good. Better than usual, I will have to tell you, on a thrift store. And for some reason, I mean, it's raining outside, but there's not a lot of people in the thrift store. So hopefully, this one's more of a high end one up here at Mark Commons in Myrtle Beach. But we're going to go in here and see what they got to flip the line for profit. Winner, winner, chicken dinner on these Apco pants. Shorts. There it is. American fishing something, something, something. The, uh, but Apco, Apco shorts are always a pickup. Don't even really have to look them up because I know for 100%, this is easy 20 to 30 bucks. Usually where there's one, there's multiple, but I'm not seeing any. I said when there's one, there's usually another one. Another pair of Apco shorts. Uh, looks like it's got a little stain on it. I don't know. There's still gonna be a buy. These are definitely older too. Size 40, same size as the other one, which is good. Maybe there's a third, maybe. No. One of the last stops of the day, as you can hear in the background, sounds like a whole bunch of mad bumblebees. It is bike week down here in Myrtle Beach. So we're gonna sit in traffic on the way down to also uh, Pauly's Island. So uh, we're gonna go into this Salvation Army, see what they got. All right, you usually don't pick up Johnson and Murphy but these are sheepskin johnson and murphy's and in really good condition they're eight bucks but it looks like they go for like used like 50 even maybe more than that so that's really not that bad Love some scuffing up there but overall really good shoe what is that birdwell beach britches definitely got to be a new bolo here this is why you look stuff up all the time on your phone. Birdwell Beach Bridges in, in California. These things are expensive. I go for 50 bucks and then six dollars. This is 100 percent gonna be a pickup. Got some bikes here on bike week. We like bike week though. We don't complain about bike week. Because I think it's neat. Everybody coming down. Riding around, bikes. riding their bikes. Had a good weather, uh, not so good yesterday, but good weather today for riding weather. But Merle's Inlet is jumping. We're in Surfside right now, which is a little bit less jumping, but uh, it's not bad. What's this guy listening to here? So we thought our sourcing day was over. Not over, on the way home, we found an estate sale on a Friday. Seems to be extremely packed. We're gonna go in there and see what they got. What is going on here? What's that? What's that? Old Mitchell 300. That's not terrible. How much extension is there now, dude? Look at this piece of powder. Oh, what is that? Small spider. Hey, check us out. Made in Italy. Oh, wow. Oh, take a look at that thing. 
this is Avon. Yeah, well, they had it yesterday too. I heard. Federal law forbids sale or reuse of this bottle. What type of bottle was this? Check this thing out. Read the back of that. Look at this nice little sander. Wait a second. I just found a gem hiding in the corner. This little palm sanders are sweet. That is a nice looking sledgehammer. It's a plum eight pound sledgehammer. Yeah, definitely gonna see how much you want for that thing. Mayflower Transit. So this was actually from um, the Pilgrims. That's a Pilgrim. Hey! Oh, nice size lopper. That's old Craftsman. Craftsman lopper. Man, that thing is sweet. Um, yeah. That goes with that. So Kayla's buying a bench here that we're gonna redo, probably. I don't know. Should we carry all this in? All right, let's go see what they want for this stuff. What are you doing, Willow? So, Billy is still out back here, but we haven't got Billy any type of glasses, hat, or shirt. Why haven't you got Billy a shirt yet? I, that's not my responsibility, that was yours. All right, so I haven't found him a shirt yet, so I gotta get Billy a shirt, but he's looking good. We did put him on some concrete. Willow is a big fan of Billy, as you can tell. Actually, I don't really think she cares. But remember I told you like we're the people that have a whole bunch of stuff in the backyard. We got clams now, we got turtles, more turtles, and a bear. But the reason why I bought the lopper is because of this tree right here. It's starting to get above the house. Such a nice tree to have in the summertime. It literally shades the entire backyard. But I do wanna go ahead and cut boop, boop, that area right there. And I mean, we went to uh, Home Depot the other day. Those things cost like 50 to $100 now. To get one of those and this thing that's gonna work perfectly right there so that was a good buy at the estate sale Willow, what are you doing so not a bad day thrifting or sourcing uh fridays and saturdays are usually our big sourcing days so we had to hustle around sit in a lot of traffic we started at what nine o'clock like nine or nine thirty and it's like 1 30 now so it was definitely a long day most of that was sitting in traffic and that's one thing that you have to always realize is if you live in a touristy area or place has a lot of traffic it's just one of those things you got to do but we do appreciate everybody watching remember if you're not subscribed subscribe comment down below like the video you know i will always get you on the next one